if we take a quick look at our initial presentation, we have a user stories that says as a user, I should be able to sign up, log in, recover password as phase one. So let us make sure that we've completed phase one. Larva uh, helped us to build this automatically. So what we'll do is to log in and um, create sign up, make sure that sign up is working, log in, make sure it's working and then recover password. The problem is that uh, our website is not hosted, so our email may not work yet, all right? So, but um, once we've done that, we can now sign off that we've completed uh, phase one, then we can move over to phase two and start trying to get phase two done right away, all right? So let's go ahead and check it. So there we are at our app, so I'll click on register and try to register. The first name to register is Dave and um, the partner. And then that's my email and then I'm going to enter a password and then I'm going to enter the same password hit register and see what will happen so it's trying to register right now it's opening up so um, if you've not used we ran into an error first of all but if you've not you if you're not used to Laravel if you've used earlier, earlier versions of Laravel you see that this is not how Laravel throws errors in the past when Laravel throws errors in the past, it's just a whole bunch of junk that doesn't uh, actually tell you what's happening. So Laravel introduced something called Whoops, a package called Whoops in Laravel 5.5. So it's a very neat way of presenting errors. So as you can see, it's, it shows us the page that has the error that threw the error, shows us the error here, and also mentions it. As you can see here, it's telling us that um, access denied for user a root at localhost because I didn't enter my password, all right? So I have to enter my password. But remember when I was uh, telling you what um, should be in the M env file, I left my password empty and told you that this is how yours should be. But mine, I have a password for mine. So I'll enter it when you're not looking and uh, fix the problem. Also, um, in case the problem is not solved, you can always use any of these to share your um, problem. And you can copy it and paste it, all right? So make sure that you can uh, you feel free to contact me if you ever have any errors with your Laravel. As you can see, this is my email. And if you want someone to join your team or help you build out a software, you can contract it out to me. This is my email. All right, so um, I'll just pause this video and enter my password and we'll go ahead. So I've entered my password. We're going to try something to refresh this and see if it will resubmit. Okay, continue. I've, I pressed refresh, control R on my keyboard and it popped up this. I'll say continue. So, which means uh, I should probably try and uh, resubmit. And then, of course, it appears we have one more problem. What we can quickly do is to start all over again instead of refreshing. So, I'll visit the register page again, start all over again, all over, then partner. And then we have this my, enter my password, enter my password, and hit register. Uh, really just one more time Dave uh, partner and so register I wonder why it's throwing this I'm gonna pause this video and figure out why it's throwing this error all right, so it's important that you know what happened. Um, what happened right here is that even though I've set my password, what what, what happened is that um, it didn't pick it up because my server was already running with the previous blank password, all right? So what I did was to restart my server. And when I restarted it and tried again, uh, it tells me that the user's table does not exist, which means when we ran PHP Artisan Mac auth, it couldn't access our database because we had the wrong password. So if we run it again, it should recreate it. And um, yes, we want to replace. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So it should just go ahead and do everything. So if we go to our database, we can uh, check and be sure that it has created some tables for us. Alright, the solution to that problem was uh, 
So quickly, because we forgot to do something, just make sure you restart your server and then you run a command php artisan migrate. So this is the command that you run, you hit enter, it creates uh, the databases for you because actually it created a migration files. So if we should check out in the migration, if we check out in users migration, uh, in database migrations, you will see that there's a table called create users table. It created this migration, but it didn't create it in the database. So to create it in the database, we have to actually run this command, um, which is PHP artisan migrate. So it will take whatever we have here and go to our database and create it. As you can see, we have um, these two tables here, just, that, just like we have them here. All right. So this sorts our problem and we can now test again and see if we are good to go. All right, we'll just visit our register page one more time and try and sign in one more time. And of course, um, you can ignore this error temporarily. If you run your PHP artisan migrate and it says this error, syntax error or whatever, just let it go. Just continue what you're doing. And then, uh, yeah, enter my password and enter another confirm password and hit register. And let's see uh, how this one goes. So as you can see, it has signed me up one, then it has logged me in two. I just make sure that you saw all these um, errors and the way I handled it so that you learn how to handle errors in Laravel, all right? So I believe this uh, sorts our problem. And as you can see, there's a logout button for us. So subsequently, in the next video, we'll try and create admin roles and um, make this more beautiful. See you in the next video. If you're not subscribed to my channel right now, this is the moment to subscribe. So you go to youtube.com slash c slash brainteam.org. And when it opens, you hit on the subscribe button and stay tuned as I make more tutorials. Here's the channel. So you hit on the subscribe and then you're good to go.